An Oakland County woman says she lost her life savings, hundreds of thousands of dollars to a scam. Tonight, she's speaking openly about what happened in hopes of helping other people avoid it. Thanks for being here with us for the News at 6. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devin Skillian. This is easily one of the biggest lottery scams on which we've ever reported. A Troy senior, Kathleen Tipp, out roughly $700,000 after thieves made her think she had won much more than that. She just spoke with our consumer investigator, Hank Winchester. Hank, you've met a lot of scam victims. There's understandably a sense of wounded pride that keeps most of them from go going on camera, and we understand that to talk about it. But this is not the case with Kathleen, and we appreciate her coming forward with her story. Kimberly Devin, we certainly do. As you can imagine, she's embarrassed by what happened, but she does not want this to happen to you. And in all of my years in covering scams and talking to victims, I've never heard a story like this one. What has this done to you? It's devastated me. Are you kidding me? Kathleen Tipp has trouble believing it really happened. Sitting in her Troy condo, she's surrounded by a pile of receipts, copies of checks, Reminders of the thousands of dollars she lost to a high-tech thief. He kept, even just this morning, he texted me. He did again? He did, and the detective this morning said, don't have any more communication with him. Last fall, she got the call many of us dream about, or so she thought. She was told that she'd won the Publishers Clearinghouse Grand Prize, but in order to get the big winnings, she needed to pay up. It started with a small request, $500 needed to send her all the paperwork, handle all the legal logistics. But as the weeks dragged on, the dollar amounts got higher. The request even more bizarre. Yes, yeah, she sent the thieves a high-end watch, diamonds, and more. Oh, Rolex watch and a diamond bracelet. And, and the idea there was that you, again, you were told if you buy the jewelry. They're going to sell it, make a profit. It'll go towards a prize. So as I'm putting this story together today, I think I'm thinking what you might be thinking at home. How in the world did this woman fall for this? I would never fall for a scam like that. But here's the deal. These scammers, they prey on seniors. They use emotion. They make them believe if they don't do everything they say, they're going to be in big trouble. I get it. A police investigation now underway, but the scammer is likely long gone. On to the next victim. Kathleen doesn't want that person to be you. And before all of this happened, Kathleen and her husband, they were enjoying retirement, really not a big financial care. She's 74, and at this point in her life, she says she has to find a job because she's worried about paying the bills. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, My help me, Hank. Goodness. Back to you. This is just heartbreaking. Yeah. Hank, I'm, I'm wondering, though, when you, you, those checks, it looks like they were drawn on this from the same bank. The, the, was there not a red flag when she kept going to the bank to get these big checks? I am so glad you asked that question because it's the question I asked, and it's part of the scam. She told her banker and her financial planner that she was now involved in a startup company and that's why she had to keep getting the money oh. out of the bank. Oh, boy. Oh, just awful. Mm. So yeah, sorry. Yeah. But again, I'm so glad that she shared her story. Maybe it helps somebody. Yeah. Hank, we appreciate it. Just awful.